Aries, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. And please keep in mind, not all of these readings are in reference to a lover. This could be in reference to a friend, a family member, or a co-worker. Let's get right into it. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past when it comes to an energy that Aries thinks about. Talk to me about the person that Aries thinks about. What's going on with this person? The person that Aries thinks about, please. The person that Aries thinks about. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, not all of you. All right, but this person is definitely communicating something in the recent past, or they have a lot to say. A lot of opinions is what I'm getting. They want to talk about work in the recent past. I feel like they're making plans. They're investing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy being present here. There's this energy of collaboration in the recent past and just, you know, really putting logic into everything that they do. So not thinking with their emotions so much. It's all about work in the recent past, getting money, building something up, investing. Tell me more about the recent past when it comes to this person that Aries thinks about. Tell me more. All right, so some of you guys could be dealing with another fire sign or you have a friend that's a fire sign around you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, and so I feel like this person and another person, two separate energies here that are watching one specific individual, okay? So I don't know if you have two options, Aries, or if you're watching or attracted to someone else that you know has options, but that's what this kind of feels like. Hmm. Tell me more about this person that's waiting here. Yeah, somebody's walking into a whole lot of money. I don't know if that's you or someone that you're dealing with. You know, I definitely have a lot of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like if one of your kids is an earth sign or uh, a family member, then they're doing really, really well and you're proud of this person. Some of you guys may be into um, an earth sign that you work with. And then for others of you, it's like this person is discussing you with another person. Hmm. Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present when it comes to Aries and this energy that Aries thinks about. The Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I feel like the person that you're interested in, could potentially be single, or if they're not single, you want them to be single. That's for some of you, not all of you. There could be a Sagittarius here involved. I feel like this person, they're interested in you is what I'm getting here. Somebody's single and someone wants to take a chance. All right, that's not for all of you, but I just feel like someone's doing really well with money here. And I don't feel like they just want you because of money. That's not what I feel. I just feel like you're good at that anyway, you know? And that's just one of the qualities that they like about you. But for some reason, it's difficult. Something is difficult here with you guys, I'm feeling. 
you both admire each other, but there's some sort of challenge as well. Hmm. Tell me more about the temperance here in the present for Aries. Talk to me about the temperance here for Aries. Yeah, I feel like you could be waiting on somebody that's blocking you or you're tired of someone who's giving you a hard time. It's like it never goes smoothly. Something always has to happen when it comes to this individual or you and this individual. Talk to me about the future for Aries and this connection. Talk to me about the future for Aries and this connection, please. The future. The King of Swords energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So now we have the Queen and the King. So let's see. Some, all right, so someone is coming out of the drama in the future. They're coming out of being confused. It's like somebody knows what they want in the future here, whether it's you or someone that you're dealing with. Tell me more about the future here for Aries. And, yeah. It seems like a lot is going to be working out for you, Aries, okay? Because in the future, you have the Four of Wands energy, and that's celebration, being happy in your foundations, having businesses that are growing, investing your money, just being happy and stable. That's what your future looks like. However, there's this defensive energy around you and it just seems like even though they're into you, they bring up negativity or they're still very negative in some way so it's like this person they need to learn how to compromise because the future looks bright but i feel like someone can ruin it with their words over here and then you'll get turned off and you won't want anything to do with it so that's what i'm getting all right, Aries, I want to thank you so much for watching. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.